Hello friends, a warm welcome to yet another interesting session on instrumentation and control in power plant industries. Our today's topic is types of level sensors used in power plant industries. So in this video, we will be covering the classification of level sensors based on their output. What is a level switch? Basically a point level measurement and its purpose. What is continuous level measurement? What are the different types of level sensors based on their measurement principle? Then type of level switches like float type level switch, conductivity type level switch, optical level switch, vibrating fork, which is also called tuning fork level switch, ultrasonic level transmitters, radar type level uh, transmitters, and finally our DP type level transmitters in different cases like open atmospheric tank then closed tank which are which is pressurized uh, having dry leg or wet leg so we start our main slides friends in some applications how much liquid is filled in a tank or vessel is important to us whereas in some cases we do not need the complete range but a particular level limit is important to us to switch on or switch off a pump or maybe to open or close a wall. So depending upon the application, we can classify level measurement into two types. First is point level measurement and second is continuous level measurement. Friends, a point level measurement which is basically a level switch here we can say a point level measurement is basically a switch that acts on a fixed set point so this figure we all must be familiar this is a basic, basic switch electrical switch the purpose of an electrical switch is to make or break the circuit depending upon its contact position to own or off an electrical equipment maybe a simple fan or a bulb in your home this uh, level switches basically our point type uh, level measurements a level switch is also similar when the level reaches that set value only then the switch acts and closes the contact to complete the circuit the switch can be configured to act on going higher than a fixed set point or it can also be configured to act on going lower than a fixed set point means if it if it is configured to go uh, to act on going higher than a fixed set point we will call it a, uh, it as a high level switch or in second case it will be called as a low level switch let's take an example suppose we want to fill a tank with a pump when the tank level is below a certain level we want to fill the tank once the level in the tank reaches higher set point we want to switch off the pump so in this simple case we are going to use two level switches one is low level switch that acts and completes the pump's electrical uh, electrical circuit when the tank level goes low in this figure it is less than two centimeter and the second level switch is high level switch that acts when the tank level reaches high set point that is uh, in this figure greater than 10 centimeter to stop the pump by opening the circuit clear friends here please don't get confused why one switch when it acts it makes the circuit while the second switch is acting to break the circuit basically a switch has three contacts no nc and common no is basically normally open nc is normally closed the word normally means uh, the position the contact position when the switch is not acting clear or not pressed so based on the contact or ports we uh, used we can configure the switch as no or nc configuration means it depends on the wiring which we to which port we connect if we connect between no 
and common then when energized it will be closed normally we, when the switch is not acted the circuit will be incomplete and when the the switch will act the circuit will be closed and reverse case in the nc configuration clear so our level switch we discussed uh, is either a contact close or a contact open or in technical term we will say it is either 0 or 1 so it gives binary output and uh, our this point level measurement or level switches are generally used in local relay panels or in PLCs but in our DCS we prefer continuous level measurement because it gives the complete range for which it is installed for example in this same picture if the level transmitter is installed to cover the complete range here we can see the complete range is 0 cm to 12 cm then the continuous level measurement will measure this 10 cm this tank level it is filled till 10 cm so the DC is uh, corresponding to this 10 cm the transmitter will provide approximately 17.33 milliampere means for a transmitter the signal transmitted is generally 4 to 20 milliampere industrial standard where 4 milliampere is calibrated corresponding to in this particular example to 0 centimeter tank level and 20 milliampere is calibrated corresponding to this 12 centimeter tank level so for a level of 10 centimeter we will receive a current output of 17.33 milliampere and a dcs control system in its software logic is easily capable of generating desired software based limits like in software we will generate internally a high limit on 10 centimeter or to stop the pump or a low limit to start the pump or even various alarms to make the operator aware and also same and uh, continuous means analog value we can display on the HMI which is human machine interface that is the operator screen in the control room so switches are generally used in case of small or local control panels which are generally relay based circuits whereas continuous level measurements are more preferred in DCS systems to create multiple soft limits or single analog measurement on single analog measurement and also to show actual level value to the DCS operator on DCS computer screen I hope the difference between this level switch and level transmitter is clear uh, if I talk about means in technical terms uh, means difference between point level measurement and continuous level measurement is clear then coming to the different types uh, of level sensors based on their measurement principle we can differentiate our level switches which are our point level measurements into four types float level switches conductivity or resistance type level switches optical level switches and vibrating type level switches vibrating fork type level switches which are also called tuning fork type level switches and level transmitters we can segregate into three types ultrasonic radar and dp type coming to our next slide basically first uh, type of point level measurement is our float type level switch a float type level switch basically is a mechanical switch that floats on the surface of the liquid and moves up or down as the liquid rises or falls the construction of float switch includes a hollow body that contains a switch or sensor which is normally a reed switch with a magnet inside the switch opens or closes due to gravity and the level of the media clear the switches are preset to trigger when the level is outside its set limit the switch sends a message to a mechanism to open or close a connected connected device this float switches are simple in construction 
and they are insensitive to density of liquid being measured as it just floats on the surface and are also suitable for corrosive liquids limitations uh, are also there like uh, float switches are sensitive to turbulence so this we cannot use them in tanks with where high liquid uh, turbulence is there also dirty liquids may interfere in the float uh, operation does it requires clean liquids also in case of pressurized tanks the float will not rise or fall due to buoyant forces only thus floats are best suited for open atmospheric tanks or in case of low pressure tanks clear coming to our next type of level switch it is conductivity or resistance type level switch a conductivity or resistance sensor uses a probe to read conductivity the probe has a pair of electrodes we can see in this picture it has a pair of electrodes from form a part of an electric circuit right now it is open circuit because both electrodes are not in direct contact so when the water level comes in contact with this uh, electrode then this uh, the circuit completes so the, it gives uh, a high or low basically pulses that yes now the circuit is complete current is flowing through this one electrode to another electrode and if water level is low means electrodes is, electrodes are not in direct contact with the liquid then circuit breaks clear the advantage of using a conductivity level switch are no moving parts low cost and fairly very easy to use uh, there are certainly disadvantages also like they are invasive like uh, means uh, they are in direct touch with the liquid being sensed second is uh, as i mentioned current is flowing from one electrode to second electrode through that liquid so the liquid must be conductive and third is the probe will erode over time so these are the disadvantages of this type of uh, conductivity type of uh, level measurement coming to our next type is optical level switch Opti it works on the principle of total internal reflection here we can see one led is uh, transmitting uh, light it is uh, from prism surface it is getting reflected then again from the other edge of this prism it is again getting reflected total internal reflection is getting going on so it consists of an infrared light emitting diode led and a photosensitive receiver both led and receiver are enclosed in a prism when the prism is not immersed in liquid the light emitted emitted by the led due to in, uh, this total internal reflection is completely sensed by the receiver and the receiver generates a corresponding high voltage signal however when the water level reaches up to the prism some of the light gets refracted into the liquid and thus the complete light is not sensed by the receiver corresponding to this loss in receiver light the receiver gives a low voltage signal clear and coming to its advantages uh, again no moving parts not affected by high pressure or temperature very small in size and can be used in liquid applications certainly disadvantage is also the lens it has lens and it the lens get coated or may get dirty so they require cleaning next type is tuning fork or vibrating fork type level switch the vibrating fork type level sensors works on the principle of tuning fork there is a piezoelectric uh, piezo ceramic crystal located inside the fork assembly on application of voltage the crystal oscillates at natural frequency of the fork assembly 
this frequency is continuously monitored by the internal electronic circuitry and when this uh, fog comes in contact with the liquid or solid material the frequency uh, slightly changes and this change in frequency is sensed by an electronic circuit which in turn sends out a signal this signal is processed out as a relay output either no or nc signal which in turn indicates level signal either low or high depending on application clear advantages are these are cost effective and compact in and again these are in direct contact uh, with the material whose level is to be sensed so these are invasive products invasive and these are very easy to install and essentially maintenance free our mining food mining industry food beverage and chemical processing industries use these sensors for their applications clear so that was all about our level switches we discussed four type of level switches float type then next was conductivity type third one is optical and fourth is Turing fork or vibrating fork now comes to continuous level measurements which are level transmitters so our first type of level transmitter is ultrasonic level transmitter it works by emitting and receiving ultrasonic waves we can see on top of this tank this level transmitter is mounted and uh, this ultrasonic level transmitter basically it can emit ultrasonic waves as well as it can receive ultrasonic waves mean it act as a transmitter as well as receiver so it emits ultrasonic waves the ultrasonic waves touch the liquid surface and reflect back to it the time taken by this ultrasonic wave to go and come back is measured calculate uh, and this this measure of time is calculated corresponding to the empty portion which when subtracted from the total tank height gives the actual tank level clear the two to and fro time of this ultrasonic wave is measured so it is getting reflect, reflected from the water level uh, or liquid level surface or maybe in case of solid also so from the surface it is getting reflected so it measures the empty portion of the tank we know the total height of the tank we subtract that it basically circuit circuitry electronic circuitry is there the calculation is already done in the back end that it subtracts from the total height of the tank that empty portion and gives us the actual tank level the advantages are no moving parts very compact reliable and non invasive non contact not in touch with direct this liquid which is to be whose level is to be measured and these are unaffected by the properties of the material they are sensing and one more good thing is they are self cleaning because of the vibration they give off but the disadvantages they are expensive and in some situations the environment environment can have a negative effect on them then coming to our next type is radar type level transmitter basically everything is same in radar type as in ultrasonic just when in ultrasonic level transmitters it was ultrasonic waves which are getting transmitted and received back in in this case it is microwaves basically so it emits uh, or transmits microwaves by an antenna on the radar se uh, sensor then the liquid that is being sensed reflects these microwaves back to the antenna and the time from emission to the reception of the signal is proportional to the level of the liquid advantages they are not affected by temperature pressure or dust they can measure liquids pastes powders and solids very accurate and requires no calibration 
non-invasive because they do not touch the product that is sensing disadvantage again it is expensive and being a microwave it is it has very limited it has a limited detection range and much like ultrasonic uh, sensors the radar sensors are also ideal for hot liquid storage tanks then our next type is dp type which is differential pressure type level sensors and in our power plant industry dp type is the most common level measurement used a dp level dp type level measurement uh, as the name suggests consists of two sides dp is basically differential pressure so there must be two sides between which we are calculating the difference so it has two sides one is exposed to the liquid pressure and is called the high pressure side that is hp side whereas the other side of the transmitter is not exposed to the liquid pr pressure and thus it is called low pressure or LP side. Friends, we know P is equal to H rho G, where P is pressure of the liquid, H is height of the liquid, rho is density of the liquid, and G is the acceleration due to gravity. Sometimes this rho and G combine to, to call as specific gravity of the liquid. So friends, if we measure the delta pressure that is the hp side pressure minus lp side pressure we can easily calculate the height of the level inside the tank and this th there can be three cases basically one is uh, if the tank is open that is uh, the pressure on the liquid is only atmospheric pressure second case is uh, if it is a closed tank and so obviously above this water level there would be some gas and uh, there could be two cases either it could be pressurized or it could be means low pressure or if it is gas it could be it can generate vapors either it could it can these vapors can have the tendency to convert into condensate or it may not get converted into condensate so there basically we divide into three cases one is open atmospheric tank second is closed tank where vapor is not condensate and the temperature of the process is equal to the atmospheric uh, temperature and third is closed tank where vapor tends to make the condensate and temperature of the process is high or low from the atmospheric so depending upon the type of tank and the liquid parameters we may use either no lag or dry lag or wet lag we will come to these three types so first is open tank uh, level measurement friends in this uh, photograph we can see for open tank as shown in this picture on lp side of this level transmitter here this encircled one lt is the level transmitter it has two side hp side and lp side hp is high pressure lp is low pressure side so on hp side the pressure is the pressure of the fluid in the tank and the atmospheric pressure okay clear means on hp side there are two pressures are acting one is atmospheric pressure and the pressure of the liquid which is filled in the tank whereas on lp side it is only atmospheric pressure that is exerted so when we subtract hp side minus lp side this atmospheric pressure which is same on both side get nullified and only thing which we get is pressure by the process fluid and we know p is equal to h rho g with where p is pressure h is height of the liquid and rho is density of the liquid g is gravity so we know density of the liquid is fixed gravity this acceleration due to gravity is fixed so this height of the uh, the fluid in the tank which is also called the 
fluid level can easily be calibrated corresponding to this dp measurement clear next coming to the case of a closed tank so friends again in closed tanks we can segregate into two two types one is with dry leg and second is with wet leg so if the if in this closed tank where vapor pressure is not condensate and the temperature of the process is equal to atmospheric then there is no condensate formation is occurring in the tank so we can use dry leg at the lp side so in terms of uh, measurement the only difference is in open tanks both side are getting atmospheric pressure which are getting cancelled due during dp measurement in this case gas pressure is acting uh, on lp side as well as on hp side hp side in addition to gas pressure is also getting this liquid level pressure the pressure due to this liquid level so when we calculate the dp means hp side minus lp side pressure then this gas pressure which is acting on both sides get cancelled so the height means the pressure which we the dp which we get is corresponding to the height of the liquid in this tank clear <coughs> our next uh, case is wet leg in closed tanks where vapor pressure tend to make condensate thus in the lp leg will not only be experiencing the gas pressure but there would be vapor condensate get accumulated there inside the leg <coughs> which can create error in this differential pressure measurement between lp side and hp side clear means if this vapor has a tendency to get converted into condensate then that condensate will get will get accumulated in the leg itself if we are using dry leg case here then that leg will be filled with the condensate so when we will we will be calculating this hp minus lp then this H, lp side will not only be the gas pressure but also the condensate uh, which is accumulated in this leg so to get rid of this problem this LP side vertical leg is also completely filled with the same liquid, same liquid as in the tank. This LP side will always experience gas pressure plus fixed height liquid pressure. Clear? Means LP side two pressures are acting. One is gas pressure, and second is this fixed height liquid pressure. Whereas on HP side. The pressure experienced are gas pressure and tank liquid uh, liquid pressure. So gas pressure on both side again same. So its effect is cancelled. Now LP side LP leg is fully filled. So this pressure is always fixed, and only variable is on the HP side, which is due to actual tank level uh, liquid level. So thus the this delta pressure between the hp side and lp side can be easily calibrated to provide level measurement so friends uh, in this session we covered our all types of level measurement starting from level switches which are four types basically float type level switch then next was our conductivity type level switch then we covered optical level switch and then tuning fork which is also called vibrating fork level switch that was all about level switches which are also called point uh, point type uh, measurements then we discussed about our level transmitters which which gives us continuous level measurement and we discussed ultrasonic level transmitters which transmits and receives ultrasonic waves then we discussed about radar type level transmitters which transmits and receives microwaves and then the most important and most widely used level measurements in case of tanks which is dp type which is differential pressure type level measurement we discussed about the three types depending on the case 
or the tank which whose level we have to measure if it is an open atmospheric tank then no leg is required it's lp side no leg is required it could be open to atmosphere second if it is a closed pressurized tank and we the, this vapors inside the tank are not uh, getting converted into condensate they don't have the tendency to get it converted into condensate then a dry leg would be sufficient just this gas pressure on both side is getting cancelled and we get the level measurement easily corresponding to the differential pressure and in case of third last one was wet leg case where we have a pressurized tank and this liquid means vapors inside the tank have a tendency to convert into condensate so we use wet leg uh, and this wet leg uh, pressure is fixed because it is completely filled gas pressure on both side is cancelled the only dp variation is due to this liquid level in the tank clear so friends that was all about level measurements i hope i am able to clear the concept well your valuable feedback is important to me and it's very much welcomed so please share your feedbacks in the comment section we will meet again in our next video till then stay safe stay healthy take care bye